little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome back to another top five. So this is my top five favorite actors. So the reason why, so it's just going to be males this go around, because the next video is actually, well the next top five video is going to be top five favorite actresses, so we'll deal with that when we come to it. So uh, we're going to do my top five favorite actors. So we're going to start, you know, five, four, three, two, one, as it's supposed to go. I kind of messed up in the beginning, but now I actually have a whole system going. So my top, my fifth favorite actor is Paul Rudd known for movies like Ant-Man, Clueless, and Ant-Man and the Wasp. So why is Paul Rudd my fifth favorite actor? Well, for one thing, I had not known him that much when I first... Okay, so the first movie I had ever watched him in was Ant-Man. I hadn't seen him in any other movie besides Ant-Man. And then, as I was watching the movie, I was like, oh my god, this guy is hilarious. And I hate... I don't hate superhero movies, but they're not exactly my favorite movies. And I think that was one of my first uh, favorite those were my first superhero movies I actually liked so I give Paul Rudd major props on that not only that but when I saw the 40 year old virgin with Steve Carell and I noticed that he was in it I got super excited so I was like you know what I think this guy is actually becoming one of my favorite actors because he is hella funny he's good at what he does he knows what he's doing and he's really really awesome my fourth favorite actor is Chris Pratt known for Guardians of the Galaxy Jurassic World, and Parks and Recreation. So why is Chris Pratt my fourth favorite actor? Well, first of all, the first thing I had ever seen him in, again, was Guardians of the Galaxy. And I was like, okay, this guy is really awesome. He's got sick-ass dance moves. He's super funny. You know, he's a really good actor. And then I started getting into the show Parks and Recreation, also known as Parks and Rec. I started wa watching Parks and Rec uh, shortly after I started watching The Office. And the only reason why I even watched it was because it was recommended for me on Netflix after I had watched The Office. And when I saw that Chris Pratt was in there, I was like, oh my god, it's the dude from Guardians of the Galaxy. So I was like stupid fucking happy. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe he's in here. But as I'm watching this, I'm like, he's big. Like, he's a big boy. He had to lose weight for Jurassic World and for Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, that's crazy. I didn't think he was that big. I, I always thought he was maybe like a skinny dude, but I guess not. But either way, he's funny. He's a really good actor. Again, like Paul Rudd, he knows what he's doing. When he has the script, he, you know, he goes with it. He does a really good job, and I cannot wait to see what other projects he has lined up. So my third favorite actor is Tom Hiddleston, known for Thor, Thor Ragnarok, and The Avengers. So I have always been the type to like bad boys. I, if I go back to my track record of dating, it's all bad boys. <laughs> so when I saw Tom Hiddleston as Loki in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I was like, oh boy, <laughs> falling for another bad boy, which is hilarious because uh, I think out of the two, Harley Baby's favorite is Thor which I think is absolutely hilarious because whenever Thor and Loki come out in California Adventure and you can meet them, I'm always like, okay, let's walk up to Loki, let's forget Thor. Because <laughs> I remember um, during one of, during my anniversary, or not my anniversary, was it our anniversary? No, it was like our nine month or something with hubby. And we went to Disneyland and I don't know why we decided to celebrate nine months together. I think it was because, I think I came up with the idea for some unknown reason. But we went and I was dressed in like this beautiful pirate like red dress because red on Pirates of the Caribbean is a very well-known character so I bought her dress and I wore it when we went. And when I walked up to Loki I gave him a curtsy and he goes, ah yes, bowing to the official like the right ruler of Asgard I was like as it should be and he was like so into it and oh it was so funny and you know hubby walk up there and he was like doing this and Loki's like why the hell are you posing like that or something along those lines more Disneyified he goes oh well I'm holding the test rack he goes that's weird <laughs> but yeah that I just I love Tom Hiddleston he brought so much life to Loki and you know it it was, it's just so much fun seeing him, you know, in the movies acting as a baddie. It's, it's really different and, well, not different, but it's just, it's awesome for me to see. All right, and my second favorite actor is Johnny Depp, known for Pirates of the Caribbean, Edward Scissorhands, and Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. All right, guys, so you all know I have a soft spot for Tim Burton. 
And the reason why I have a hot spot, a soft spot, hot spot, <laughs> what? <laughs> the reason why I have a soft spot for Tim Burton is because he made my favorite movie of all time. Now, cherry on top is that I have only ever found one Tim Burton movie that I don't like, and that was Mars Attacks. But you know, other than that, I love him. So, why am I bringing this up? Because Johnny Depp really loves working with Burton, and Burton really loves working with Depp. So, a lot of my favorite movies from Tim Burton have Johnny Depp in them. And not, not gonna lie, I still haven't seen any of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies yet, which I really should. And I mean, Captain Jack Sparrow is my favorite character. Like, I love meeting him at Disneyland. But, going back to Tim Burton, I loved every single character that Johnny Depp has played. I have loved Victor from Corpse Bride. I have loved, um, you know, he did, you know, Sweeney Todd. I have loved, um, oh my god, what else has he done? Uh, Edward Scissorhands and Sleepy Hollow, all of it. It's just, oh, it's so amazing to see Johnny Depp in those roles, and the fact that my director is behind a lot of those movies, it just makes it all the more better. So, yes, I love Johnny Depp, but he's not my number one. Can any of you guess what my number one is before I announce it? <laughs> My number one favorite actor of all time is Chris Sarandon, known for The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Princess Bride, and Fright Night. Yes, of course my favorite actor is going to be Chris Sarandon. I, I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, any of you who know me know that I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. See, see, my, see my tattoo? My tattoo. <laughs> I love The Nightmare Before Christmas, and the fact, and I, I feel like I have to pick him. Because if I don't, then what's the point of me really liking the movie other than, you know, my long backstory that I have with it? It's the actors that make the characters come alive, and that's what makes me love, you know, the movie as much as I do. And I always get butterflies in my stomach whenever I meet Jack at Disney, you know? And I tell myself if I were to ever meet Chris Sarandon or Tim Burton in person, I would probably end up passing out or I would end up crying or something, and I feel like that still holds true. I love both of them. I love Chris Sarandon so much. He's brought so much joy into my life. And you know, you guys saw my my cameo video where I bought a cameo from him and I I love it. I, I still cry whenever I, I watch it and I, I can't express how much I love Chris Sarandon. It just, he just it just makes me happy. And I mean, right next to me, I actually have a poster of Jack Skellington. It's like a like a picture of him that my ex bought for me and it's signed by Danny Elfman and Chris Sarandon and that is currently hanging up on my wall over there. But yeah, uh, the, I'm going to stop right now before I kind of go further than I would like to. But yeah, those are my top five favorite actors. Let me know your favorite actors in the comment section down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.